Let's see how we can use AI to boost your content creation workflow. Welcome, I'm Fred, and it's the eighth episode of the Content Creator Weekly Show. So let's get started. Hi, Fred, Fred can so you well, hear me? I'm yeah, perfectly. Welcome. I'm sweet. I'm sweet to, to co-host this show with Cyril Coste. How are you, how are you today? Most important uh, thing, what are we going to learn today, Cyril? Well, today we are going to continue on uh, pre last week's show. Uh, the feedback we received was very much um, uh, uh, positive about the framework we just introduced, and people really wanted to go to have a deeper dive in each step of what we started to introduce. So I suggest that this week uh, we go deeper into each step and we have a clear view about the tools and the process we use uh, during the content creation. Absolutely. So remember, last week we, um, we details a four-step process. Briefing, targeting, creation, and amplification. So... Let's start with uh, brief. Cyril, as a content creator, you receive a lot of brand collaboration requests. A lot. Everything start with a brief. You've got some indication what brands are looking for, sometimes what they doesn't want. Okay, but what to, where to get your content ideas? And not only where to get your content ideas, but Multiply by 100 your potential uh, content. Yes, now you're absolutely right, uh, uh, Fred. I uh, say so usually the, the brief of a content brand usually come well defined in terms of content creation part, and they request content creators to work more on the amplification or you know how to adapt it specifically for social media. It's always better, you know, yeah. we talked about this before, but it's always better to co-create the brief with uh, content creators. So how, how can you use um, uh, the, 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 the brief stage? So we prepared a, a little deck. Maybe you want to start sharing. Um... Yep, yeah, absolutely, Cyril. Let me share uh, for you. So, if we speak so, about where to get your content ideas, we put first news and social media monitorings and alerts. I'm correct? Yes. Uh, as a content creator, you need to be aware of everything that is happening in your industry. Okay, no surprise here. If brands contact you, it's because of your expertise. So, you need to be aware of everything that is going on. So it's important to have uh, your RSS feeds, your uh, newsletter, extra ready set up. But I would say this is a kind of normal step and well done already. Um, in terms so of Twitter and LinkedIn, Twitter and LinkedIn are also Twitter and LinkedIn are also your best friend. Yes, yes, especially Twitter because we we have tools like uh, we are going to see Twig Deck that allows you to yeah. uh, create some silos of information about specific topics. It's more complex with LinkedIn because, uh, as we talked before, LinkedIn is not designed to be a content platform. So it's not yeah. very well organized. So you need to make a, a, a hashtag research, et cetera. OK. And you've got, all, you've got also your own content ID generation. Yes, it makes you know, perfect sense to uh, use what usually works and uh, what yeah. doesn't work and to adapt uh, your content, a long form into different posts, you know, videos into articles. So this idea of repurposing content has been anyway uh, so there for a very you, long time, you mean... but it needs to be automated. It needs to be automated uh, okay. and done faster. And so you mean by this point, be very careful about what other people do and see how you can be inspired by them and you uh, their hook uh, their hook techniques to generate your own um, content. Am I right? 
Yes, I think the, 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 you, you're right. You always kind of follow what your peers are doing, you know, or your competitors. It, it's true okay. for everything. Uh, just don't copy for the sake of copy something that yeah. is successful. I know it's very oh, successful. Cool. I mean, you go on YouTube right now, all the titles are the same, okay? They all look the same. Yeah. It's over-processed via chat GPT extra. And it's very difficult to find exactly you know, what is the value for me because they just like write and books that they know will work. You know, Cyril, I have to confess that when no. I'm thinking about uh, YouTube video titles, I always have a look about what uh, other uh, great creators do. And it's, uh, it's an inspiration for me. And we, I think we are all doing the same at the end. <laughs> inspiration is one thing. But at the end of the day, you create content for an audience. It's always your audience Absolutely. that you have in mind. Yeah. You're right. You're perfectly right. Never forget your, your audience. So um, if we want to accelerate this process, thanks to AI, um, we, we just pick up some, um, some great tools to, uh, to use. Um, so we select of these tools. Do you um, use by yourself these tools, Cyril? Or maybe you want to, to, to add more? Yes, no. So Google Alerts is a kind of the classic one. Well, uh, the problem with Google yeah. Alerts is we don't have any more the RSS feed. I think it has been decommissioned yeah. six, seven years ago. Uh, so it's uh, but so basically now you can you automate uh, this part where basically you're going to transfer uh, um, an email in, and make it uh, into an RSS feed so it can be consumed by yeah. uh, your automation uh, workflow. That's one aspect. Uh, you can use also uh, TalkWalkers, TalkWalker.com. Yeah. So um, what is great is that it's the same principle as Google Alerts. So you set up your keywords extra, uh, and but it has okay. the RSS feed included. I'm not sure if it's free or not, but you can also make it as a RSS feed. And of course, Twitter, LinkedIn by default, okay? Um, I have, you know, plenty of lists with, uh, that where I follow uh, either people, companies, or some uh, um, uh, hashtags. I think that yeah. it's very common. Uh, Black Magic is great for that. It's really uh, great to Black see, you know, what is Black the Magic dot, content. Dot SO. SO. Black Magic yeah, Black Magic.so. Already yep. uh, introduced uh, these tools before. It's fantastic tools for for Twitter, created by uh, a guy, uh, Tony Dean. Mm. Absolutely, and, and after, of course, he's also the he's also the creator of what uh, we introduced last week, and we will speak about it uh, uh, later. Yeah. And ChatGPT, of course, uh, in order to, 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 to have a better idea about how to, to create uh, uh, your content calendar, IDs for posts, you know, but just once again, don't be stupid. So if I can share with you something, for example, for a content calendar. Yeah. If, if, you, if you allow yeah, me. Yeah, please, please. I hollow you with great pleasure. This uh, week we are uh, going so deeper. So now tools to uh to work on your on, on your brief but it will be great Cyril, if you can show us how you do yeah so please yes share share us your uh your secrets your okay can you see my uh my screen oh oh you've got some some issue with your with your browsers so it's a uh, uh, navigator configuration. I can can do by not by myself, unfortunately. What you do, brother? So maybe you can describe us the way you work. Yes, if uh, you can know, sh yeah. show us. You can describe us the way you work. Okay, so the idea is basically to create a content calendar, uh, which is one of the most painful things to do if you are a social media manager. Oh. Okay, so. You act as a talented social media manager, and let's pretend you but work for large B two B software Cyril, company. That they already use this prompt on uh, on ChatGPT. Okay, maybe I so can share my screen with this prompt. Maybe you can. Oh. Let's go. Uh, let's go. So, mention it's uh, it's the prompt is. 
act as a tenant in social media manager for large B2B software company. Create media content and engage with your targeted audience. After that, we describe the kind of people we and the kind of media they are using, okay? And um, also their interest and the way they, they want to consume information. So we speak about the demographics. We say men between 30 and 50 in Europe and North America, and um, also um, and that they are using LinkedIn and Twitter. After that, you get the goal of the campaign. And in our case, it is lead generation uh, through social media. We want to collect audience email address and increase awareness. And you ask ChatGPT to create your content calendar. Short example of what could be on Monday. Um, so we've got different uh, posting time depending on the audience you are targeting. And you've got the, uh, the idea uh, about the post you have to develop. So for instance, on LinkedIn, it's leadership is not about being in charge. It's about taking care of those uh, uh, in your charge, Simon Sinek. And you have to, uh, to write a post thanks to that. You have also all the hashtags you can use and so on. So with this calendar, it's just the beginning of, uh, of the journey, Cyril. I'm correct? I think Cyril has some, uh, has some trouble. So um, uh, what, what, I, uh, <laughs> what I say now, we have seen how AI can boost our ID generation process. So just now is, uh, is how to start with this all potential content. So for instance, in the content calendar, we've got a lot of potential. We have to go and to go further. So now we have to speak about uh, the uh, targeting side. Oh, you welcome, <laughs> welcome. And uh, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, Cyril, now uh, we, are, we will speak more about the targeting side. So if we speak about everything starts with a prompt. So. Uh, I think the huge part of your job as a creator is to know how to create the right, uh, the right prompt. Are you okay with that, Cyril? I'm pretty sure you are. I'm pretty sure you are. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you are. Um, how, we, how can we create... Uh, a good prompt for ChatGPT. It's really, really important. Share uh, with you uh, again my screen to, um, to develop that ID. And I think Cyril will come back later. Later. Okay. okay. Just one Just second. Once Here, we Here we are. And, and how to find an effective prompt. An effective prompt. So, so first thing, first thing and, and you, 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 you have an example, have an just, example before. just before. It has to be, has very, to be clear. very clear. And I, and I prefer to write a prompt that, that is clear than clever. Than clever. Be, very clear be very clear about, about what, you what, want. what you want. You have to describe, have to describe exactly, exactly your ideal your outcome. Ideal outcome. So for instance, so for instance in, the, in, the, um, in the examples we have done, we have just, done before, just before, we explain, we explain that we want that to we want collect, collect email, address. email address. And we want, and we we want, want, to, want to make lead generation, lead generation and brand awareness. So we are very, so we are very clear, clear about, about, what, we about what we want. But, but you are also to be very clear about very clear what about you what do you not do want. want. If some... If some uh, uh, some things, some are, things are, 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 are not related, are not related to, to, to your brand, your brand and, the way and the way you have it to communicate. Be very clear on that. And, and 
Chat GPT, Chat GPT, no, I doesn't, no, want, I to doesn't want to have that or to have that. To have that. And at the and end, at the end forget, to specify forget to specify your targeted, your audience, targeted audience, as we do, as we do but, also but also the tone, the of, the, tone of the voice. And when I say tone of the voice, it's not just it's about... Not just about um, um, uh, uh, you, you say, know, oh, say, I want oh, to, I want to, to speak, speak um, uh, uh, with, uh, with authority, authority or, or be very or be and so on. No, no. You, you can also, you can also, uh, you can also, you can also use, use examples. examples. And for, in, and for, for instance, instance, say, oh, instance, I, oh, I want to, uh, to write a to post write like, like Barack Obama, Obama or, uh, or uh, another, company another company that is very, very is important. Very, very important. So, so if you are able to master that part, you will be able will to be write able to effective, write prompt. effective prompt and you make a large, make part, a of large part of the job. Can you hear me, and Fred? And what? what? Yeah, ma, yeah, we, ma, we can hear you, Siri. You're back. Siri, you're back. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to add something on this. Is If you see yeah. Yeah. Um, a, an article, a piece of content, and you love how it, it's written, yeah. you just you yeah. know, copy and paste it in ChatGPT and you said, please describe the tone of voice of this article. And after like this, you know exactly what to say when you want to rewrite a piece of content with this tone of voice so uh, so that it looks the same, it sounds the same. It's very effective and very uh, useful. Yeah, absolutely. 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 I, I see, Cyril, uh, you, uh, you, you don't use you your, don't use your, your headphone, headphone again. again. And, and um, so, um, when so when I... When I I've got an echo. Uh, I okay, uh, I'm I hope so. Uh, everybody. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it could be better if you cut, cut, cut the mic. Perfect. So, about the uh, the tech stack, we uh, we select some very very cool uh, tools. First one is is about and remember. Uh, you can use ChatGPT to help you to write. Three weeks ago now, we show you how to do that. And, and we can go deeper into details if you want. But using ChatGPT uh, is really, really interesting because it can get better prompts. You can also use tools like Perplexity. Perplexity is great because you've got the information. So for instance, if you see something great when you work, when you make some research and you like voice, you have the link to the articles and you can use it when you generate your prompt. Tools like are also very great because they give you a lot of information about uh, your audience, the um, the people, uh, what, the, um, the thing what people are, are looking for and so on. And for sure, you can use mine. Type in mine is a fantastic tool when you can manage always by Tunisian, by the way. It's a fanta fantastic tool when you, you can manage uh, all your potential prompt and put variables in your, in your prompt. So you can gain a lot of time using a tool like Typing Mind. And I know, Cyril, that you are a huge fan of, uh, of, type, of, type, of Typing Mind. Yes, it, it, it saves me a lot of time, you know, the fact that it's organized per folders and you can choose also the uh, model, the chat GPT model you, you want. It's very effective. Um, and you can export and import also the chats and prompts you, you organize. Very, uh, very effective. Um, if we uh, if we go back, yeah, I just wanted to add: um, uh, use your data. I say, if you want to know exactly where the type of customer or audience you want to reach, look inside your organization in the CRM. Speak to your sales force, and you will ask them to describe. Okay, who are or best customers in this area. You know what are the characteristics, their demographics, uh, localizations, uh, uh, type of interactions, etc. 
is and do the same with a customer you do not want to reach because there are some people you don't want to do business with. So don't forget to speak Absolutely. to your people in your organization to refine as precisely as possible this, uh, these profiles. Okay, um, fantastic. So I think now, um, uh, now we know how to generate 100 of ID for a brief. And we know how to create efficient prompts for each of them. So let's talk about creation itself. I think uh, the main question people have is, if I've got a great prompt, are we done with the creation process itself? If I, if I write a great prompt, I will have a great, for instance, chat GPT outcome. So. I'm fine. I just have to copy. I'm sure your your answer will be um, more relative. Oh, your your mic is no. Off. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need I need, <laughs> I need to choose the mic every time. <laughs> yes. No. So for for the creation process, basically you need to be KPI driven. Okay. This is not. Uh, being inspired or whatever, you know, you need to know what works and what doesn't. So you need to uh, go back to your previous engagement, previous post, check, you know, what was the engagement, number of views, number of share, uh, number of comments, and okay, what really resonated with your audience and what didn't. And the idea is always do more of what works and stop what doesn't work, okay? So it's it's a critical step, okay? It's not trying to do 100 things. It's trying to do 10, thing, 10 things, uh, select the top three things, get rid of the seven, add new seven things, keep the top three, and rinse and repeat. In fact, in fact sh- you, now you've got to, to make some a- for content creation assisted by AI. And uh, just try, learn, see what at the end. And monitoring your KPI is crucial for that. It, rem- it remembers me when um, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, you know, arcade video games. You have to uh, to test a lot before to get result. And I think it's some, something like that when you when you work with uh, uh, content um, uh, uh, generating content by by ai test test monitor so uh, just some cool tools also to use Cyril. yes so chat gpt just pair copy ai a great uh, ai generative tool okay uh, that's that's the standard one uh, canva uh, canva dali and mid journey are great for uh, everything related to uh, visuals uh, Canva also has a big advantage is uh, uh, more, it integrates more and more AI uh, tools natively. Uh, and of course, uh, to, to make your content more uh, appealing, you can always find a photo and video stock. So with Unsplash, um, yep. Zero yep. GPT is also great in order to detect uh, if your content looks like AI generated. Uh, once again, never reuse uh, the exact output of a, um, of an AI tool. Always, you know, make it personal, resonate with you. The choice of word is very important. So the, 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 the grammar, even, even. grammar, grammatical structure. Uh, so, so just pay attention to that. Uh, and zero DPT and other AI content detector tool can be very useful for that. Even with GPT-4. So GPT-4 is much better and it's uh, more difficult to, uh, uh, for content detectors to, 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 to be. Uh, but, you know, my, my point of view is, uh, uh, as content creator, it's not to create automatic content that's going to be able to fool a content detector. Okay, that's not how I see my life, you know. <laughs> it's not trying to yeah. Create, yeah. use something that has been created and trying to make it mine. I mean, like, that, that would be... Uh, 
at best immoral and that's you know that's not what we want to do it, 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 so so that's why uh, it, it's important to always rewrite it and make it yours because we we have all the ton of voice so it's um yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, and anyway you know we have, we have, zero we gpt soon will evolve to and will be able to detect you know chat gpt for content so you know what works today is not going to work tomorrow so absolutely and we have never to forget that um the great tailor of our times don't speak uh, with a brain, but they speak with their heart. And it's very complicated to, to ask any AI tools to, to express your, your emotion, your... And it's, it's always complicated to do that. And so uh, it's very, very important to use it as a, a base for what you, are, what, what, you, what you want to create, but put some emotion put something more uh, human-like, I, I want to, to say, in your, in, in your content. It's always important to, to, to catch people's attention people and, and, to, and, to, and to catch, and their, to catch their, 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 emotion. their emotion. And that's a nice transition to the last part of, uh, of yeah. the framework, yeah. Fred. If you can share the slide, which is Absolutely. the amplification Absolutely. part. Yeah. And amplification yeah. is nothing yeah. less than interaction with people, okay? So what do we yeah. see? It's yeah. respond to engagement, except, you know, trolls. Just ignore them. Uh, but use tools that make it to, share my to, share my sort, to sort uh, the engagement. Uh, so uh, tools against like blackmagic.so, uh, uh, TweetDeck uh, are very good also to uh, help you identify uh, comments, mentions, extra to... Uh, to interact you i guess you yeah. you talk yeah. about the shield app before on tube buddy uh, fred yeah we never yeah, we, we never, never took we never... It, talk uh, I, I want to introduce them because they are really interesting they are able to give you some great kpis and feedback also um the way uh, people interact with you the shield app is dedicated to linkedin to buddy to YouTube, so depending on which channel your uh, your content is, but they can really help you to get um, a feedback on um, to to see how um, people interact with you, the kind of content that works well uh, or not, on which you have more engagement and so on. So it's really really um, um, inter inter in inter 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 interesting. I, I I hope you will uh, introduce these tools. Uh, we can do a deep dive in one of the next uh, next sessions. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I hope so. I I, 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 use, I, I use I already I've use already TubeBuddy used. for, and I and I um, will also use a Shield app. Uh, very very soon. In fact, a friend of mine introduced uh, introduced me uh, Chill App uh, one weeks before, so I have to uh, to test it. But he, he created a lot of content on LinkedIn and he's really enthusiastic about the way this um, this tool uh, help help him. Um, so uh, just also to 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 never forget that you have to interact with the brand and people in your niche to gain visibility and authority. It is really important. Don't only interact with your content, but uh, interact. Uh, with other people uh, content. And if you follow me a uh, um, uh, uh, comparison uh, theory, I say targeting and, um, and uh, creation is just the top of the iceberg. It's just the top of the top iceberg. Of the iceberg now. Now. And, 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 and um, it's just like just when like you play basketballs. And, and in NBA, you know, you you you're very enthusiastic because now you, you are in finals, but you don't win the championship. The real job starts now. You have to, uh, you know, and that's exactly what is uh, amplification in this process. Fantastic! You are in final now. The job and to and to win it. Now, and an easy way to do that is. Uh... Um, to put 
specific times in your calendar every day to purely spend time to respond and interact with your audience, which is exactly what I do every morning, every afternoon. I have two half an hour session. You know, I may delay, I may use some yeah. scheduler yeah. Uh, so that I could look spread across the day, but I have two sessions during the day where uh, it's only engaging with the audience. Okay, and uh, okay. I, I think okay. next week we are going to see something exciting. Uh, Fred, do you want to introduce? Abs uh, uh, Abs absolutely, uh, yeah. N next week, we how to automate all this process because now you you are able to create a great framework to, uh, for your content creation process, and we show you a lot of tools to create to create that. But you you. Sometimes it could be complicating to use all these tools and so on. And yeah, we hear you. That's why we will show you how to completely all this process thanks to, uh, thanks to a tool. So it will be more in, in tutorial, tutorial way, in, way fact, in fact, next week. Next week. Yeah, how to session. So a very uh, hands on session next week where uh, I will use uh, make.com to automate uh, a content creation process to show you how you can. Uh, 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 speed up this part in your agency, in your uh, company. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will be the basis next week of something much bigger. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just to, just to conclude, uh, we show you a lot of tips and tools. Now test them, see what works for you. The question, you know, if chat GPT or AI is the devil of your best or your best friend, but how to use it effectively for productivity. So we hope you enjoy this video, learn something new. Don't forget to like, comment for more exciting content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.